What up, that sight friend? This is Mitty Man coming at you again for Walker's Music. But yet another word for the day. Matter of fact, this is um, early Monday morning, Monday morning edition. It's already after 12. This the Monday morning edition of the Walk Through the Word. And as y'all see, we want to first of all give God all the praise and honor as usual. We don't never want to forget to do that. And we give him all for life. We thank him for life, health, and strength. For as well as it is, we thank him for each and every one of you. Side of friends, you know who you are. When you look at the title of this video, it just tells you my take, Mitty Man's take on the mark of the beast. Now, right from the start, I wanna wanna make a, a, a claim and let everybody know that this is just what I feel. This just is what I believe from what from what, where, where I come and I look at the Bible and I see the thing, the way that God dealt with the nation of Israel with the Gentile world in the Bible. This is just what I feel. This is not, in no way, I'm saying that this is the way it's going to be. Because really and truly, in my opinion, I don't think no one actually knows, except for God himself, how this thing is going to really be set up. Now, we got a lot of people, we got a lot of uh, teachers and uh, different ones that got views and they got opinions of what they feel that the way it's going to be according to their study. And, you know, that's, that's basically what I'm saying, and this is where I'm coming from as well. This is, I'm not saying that this is, gonna, this is the way it's going to be, this is the way it's going to be. I don't know, but I'm going to use common sense and my ability to comprehend what I read from the Bible. According to this here mark, what we call the mark of the beast, what they call it in the book of Revelation. Now, so like I say now, remember I said it on from the onset. I'm telling you that this is just my feel. This is just my take on this. Nothing else. I'm not trying to disprove what nobody else say. I'm not trying to knock down with no one else's opinion, nobody's opinion on how it's going to be. No, that's not the scope of this video. The scope of this video for me, from my heart to yours, is to enlighten everyone, to see can we come to some common ground, and to let everybody know what I'm going to try to show everybody with this video is that whatever this mark of the beast, whatever it might be, I'm going to try to prove to you that it's going to be voluntary. It ain't going to be anything that's going to be forced on us. And I do say us because we still living. And if they implemented this thing tomorrow and we still be here, we would be the one that would have to succumb to whatever consequences or parameters that involve this here mark of the beast. So now that we got that cleared up, so won't nobody have to email me saying that a middle man, why did you say that? I don't think it's going to be that way. Remember, I didn't say it's going to be any kind of way. I don't know how it's going to be. I'm, I'm just giving my opinion on what I believe from what I've read from the Bible, from Genesis to Revelation, according to the way I feel that the, it could be set up. That's what I'm saying. First of all, I just told you that this thing, I believe, is going to be voluntary. Now, I'm going to make mention of a one, one prophetic teacher. We got where one, of, one, one great prophetic teacher, uh, Grant Jeffries, he's gone on to be with the Lord. But he used to be a good one. But now we have left with us is Hal Lindsley. Uh, we have uh, Perry Stone. And we have Irvin Baxter. Those three. Uh, we got more. We got more prophetic teachers, but I'm just saying the main three uh, right now is, 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 as far as, as the roles fell as well. You got some 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 instructors from uh, from Oral Roberts University as well as uh, King's University as well as Regents University and uh, from uh, Jerry Falwell School, Dr. Ed Henson. You got many that's teaching on this subject and everybody got a difference of an opinion and that that's all right i can deal with that 
All of us got to come together and just get some common ground. But now the the main three that I can that I'm just gonna tell you about Middy Man. I I look at Hal Lindsey, Perry Stone, and Doctor Irvin Baxter as the top three prophetic teachers of this time. Not saying that this, this that doesn't mean that now they outweigh or they have more authority or more or got more credentials than the others because I don't know that. I'm just saying these are the ones that I most frequently watch. And I listen to their teaching. And Hal Lindsey is by far, when it comes to the mark of the beast, I like what he has said on that, that it will not be, it will, all, it will not be given by force. It will be voluntarily. Now, I'm going to tell you why I, believe, why I believe that. You see, people, no one goes to hell blindfolded. Let me tell you now. First of all, if you go back to the Garden of Eden, let's go back to the Garden. Satan was in the Garden the whole time. But he did not appear. You heard no mention of Satan until God created the woman. You didn't hear no mention of Satan. Adam was in that garden, I ain't gonna tell you how long. But now remember now, we got some more teachings about that that said the male and the female were named Adam. They both were Adam, meaning that they were equal, equal partnership, in which I do believe that. But there was a time when there was not a female. It was just a male. Because that's what the Bible tells you. Adam had no one for himself. So now, you know, I don't know where they got that other doctrine from because the Bible clearly said that God created Adam and breathed into his nostril the breath of life and man became a living soul. That's what the Bible tells us now. And then it says that he created Eve from the rib of Adam. So now this other doctrine that they done got up about, each one of them being co-equal and all that, I'm not dealing with that right now. I'll deal with that on another, another day. But right now, we're going to show you where I feel like everything's going to be voluntarily because God gave man free will. See, that's the factor that don't nobody want to look at. God gave man free will. All right, let's go to the garden. After God created Eve, she went to the tree. Satan fooled her, deceived her. She took the fruit, ate it, gave it to Adam. Adam freed will and ate it. He knew better. So he disobeyed. But guess what? It was their own free will. Yeah, Satan, Satan made them doubt God. Yeah, he did that. But it was still their free choice. They didn't have to do it. Let's go to the mark of the beast. It's going to have to be by free choice. See, in other words, it wouldn't be it wouldn't be fair if it were forced on everybody. Then it wouldn't be fair that well God will say that anyone that take the mark of the beast, they will be doomed to everlasting fire. In other words, according to the book of Revelation, anybody that take the mark of the beast, you forever lost. You ain't even got a chance. You're not going into the New Jerusalem. You're not even going into the kingdom period. You're going into the lake of fire. So that lets me and the middle man know that the taking of this here mark of the beast, whatever it may be, I don't know what it's going to be like, but whatever it is, it's going to be voluntarily and you're going to free will do it. That how come God is saying you will spend eternity in hell if you take it because it's going to be a free willingly move from God just as it was when Adam free willingly ate of the fruit in the garden and was dispelled from the garden of Eden. That's, that's basically it, people. If you think about it now, think about it. That's basically it. If, if, if it was forced, if this mark, whatever it is, now I'm going to be honest with you. I'm going to tell you what I believe. The mark of the beast, which is soon coming, I believe, and I'm going to show you part of it right here. You see this iPhone of mine? This phone can do so much. I can tell this phone to create and, and, and categorize my whole day. And go right by and speak to it and it speak back to me. Tell me what I need to do. Tell me where I need to go. What time I need to be start going. Everything. This iPhone right here. 
is, I believe, is the start of this year system that's going to come into effect very soon. Now, what I mean by that, people, it's an economic system. Don't be thinking about nothing, about no witchcraft and all voodoo dolls and all that stuff. No, 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 no. The mark of the beast, I don't think, is nothing but an economic system. That's what I believe it is. Because if you remember in the book of Revelation, it said Babylon is fallen. Babylon always means the world. It's a world system. It's the economic system of this world, among other things. But I believe that is the main thing. Because what? If you want to get to a person's heart, touch their money. This is what I believe. Now, I'm, hey, you may have a different belief. That's that, no, no problem. I'm just telling you what I believe. And I see from all throughout the Bible, wherever God's people were, that was a decision that to be made. If you look at the time of the Babylonian captivity, when the Jews were taken into Babylon, you remember Nebuchadnezzar had the dream of that golden vision and everything, that gold image. And then he erected an image and said that anybody that didn't bow down when they heard the music, they would be thrown into a fiery furnace. Remember that. It was voluntarily. Everybody bowed down except for three. And that was Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. They refused to bow down. And then you remember, if you remember correctly, he didn't throw them in right away. Nebuchadnezzar liked the old boy because he the one he the one raised them up in in, in, uh, in prominence in that in that region. So he had Meshach and Shadrach and Abednego brought to him, and he gave them another chance. Now look, y'all, I, I, I like y'all, boy. All you got to do is just bow this one time. Well, remember that's what the devil tried to get Jesus to do: bow just one time. See, if he gets you to do it just one time, he got you. He got you. But Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego the king, we know that you can put us in that fire furnace. That you can't do. But the God that we serve is able to deliver us from that fire furnace. But let it be known, king, even if he don't deliver us, we still ain't going to do what you say. See, it's a, it's a free will. It's a free will ability. God gave us free will. So in other words, let us point that to me. And let us point that to you. Would we be willing would we be willing in this system to come? Because I do believe they're going to be a system that they're going to give you an opportunity to get on board. It's got to be voluntarily, though. Because, like I said, if you are forced to do it, God couldn't punish you for that. And God is too just to do wrong. So it's going to be voluntarily. If they said, well, middle man, you can't buy no more grits and groceries. Would I stand firm and believe in God for my grits and groceries and refuse the system of this world? Or would I bow down and take the mark of the beast? And believe it or not, people, this is just what I believe. Don't, don't look for a physical mark on nobody's forehead or in their hand. I don't think it's going to be a, that, I think that is, I really, really believe, you think about it. What is this right here? That's your mind. That's what your mind is. And your hand is what you do your work. That's where you get your work. That's per, people work with their hands to earn their wages. This is why it said the hand or the forehead. It's got to be in your mind and in your, in, 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 in your hand. In other words, the works of your hand is what gets you your fortune in this world. That's the way it always been. Well, that's how come it said you got to receive the mark either in your hand or in your forehead, he's either in your mind or in your work. Whatever you, whatever this system is, it's going to be set up something accordingly to your mind. It's going to be a free, it's, it's a thing of the mind. It's a mindset of whom you're going to believe in, whom you're going to trust, whom you're going to worship. People, that's always, Satan has always wanted worship. That's why he got thrown out of heaven. He, he was envy of the worship that everybody gave to God. He wanted that worship. That's why he got thrown out. So it would tend to differ that it was going to be the same way in this day and time. Satan still wants the worship that belonged to God. And if we decide that we would not worship him, quite naturally he was going to make it harder on us as in anybody. You see, he don't have to worry about those he already has. Oh, it's not going to be no problem to the people that already sold out to Satan. 
We got a lot of people that's already sold out the sale without the mark of the beast. So it's not going to be no problem for them. They're going to accept that mark. They're going to accept it free will. But I'm not, and you are not either. Not if you believe and been but blown in the blood of Jesus, you are not going to accept it. You'll accept death before that. Death. You will accept death before it. So now you know what? I can't even speak authoritative on that because I don't know. I don't know how it's going to be in the future. Only God knows the future. But guess what? He does know the future. I don't know about tomorrow, but I know who holds tomorrow. So that's the one I'm, I'm, I'm depending on. I'm not so much worried about the mark of the beast and what it's going to be like. I could care less what it's going to be like because God is going to take care of me. And God is going to take care of you. He always did it all throughout the Bible. But now, did some of them suffer? Yes. Everybody didn't get delivered, but that means, but, but they're going to get a better resurrection. If some of them died for their belief, just like some of us going to die for us, I believe. I believe that. But you know what? Some of us are so flaky right now, we're going to just go along with the system. People, let me tell you something. I'm going to cut this video off. I just, for me, looking at people, for the way people are today, and I'm not going to even exclude my own self, but I'm saying what I believe. I'm, 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 I'm trusting and hoping that God will give me the strength to endure. If, you know, you got some people say, well, the church ain't going to have to worry about that because we're going to be gone. Well, I don't know that either. I do know that we're going to get out of here one day, but I don't know when. But if I have to succumb to the devil, to the devil in his system, would I be able to resist? Hmm, that's a good question. But we cannot say that it was not possible to resist because we got Meshach, Shadrach, and Abednego as our example. They resisted. Oh, yeah, they were put in the fire, and God protected them from the fire. They came out all right. But what if we, what if some of us don't come out all right? Don't, don't we know people that didn't come out all right? Yes, there are some that didn't come out all right. God had prophets that were sown in two. They were burned at the stake. God had people. All throughout, in when the first, uh, the, when the, when the, when the, uh, the early church, you know, people talking about we in the last days. We ain't just got in the last days, people. We've been in the last days ever since Pentecost, two thousand years ago when the Holy Ghost fell. We've been in the last days ever since then. Don't you remember? It said in the book of Job, God said, "In the last day, I'm gonna pour out my spirit, and your sons and your daughters is gonna prophesy." Well, God poured out His spirit on the day of Pentecost. That was 50 days after Jesus went on back to glory. It was 50 days after, after Passover when he died on the cross. 50 days later came Pentecost, and the Holy Spirit reported out on Peter, James, John, all of them up in the upper room. That started the last days then, people. We've been in the last days for over 2,000 years. We ain't just not getting in the last days. We've been in the last days for the last 2,000 years. So what we are doing now, we're just we're coasting on borrowed time. God is trying to give us a chance, which I believe God does not want not one of his creation to go to hell. God, the lake of fire was not made for me. The lake of fire was not made for you. The lake of fire was made for Satan and them fallen angels. That's what the lake of fire was made for. But guess what? We're going to choose to go somewhere that wasn't even built for us. That's the sad thing about it. Now, that's my that middle man take on this mark of the beast. You can call it whatever. It's a system. It's a system of things, and I know it's going to be more likely, more, it, it's going to be more economic. It's going to deal with the economics of this world system than anything. Now, I'm not saying there ain't going to be some other things involved, medically and all that, now, but sociology and all that, but mostly it's going to be economical because I know people when it comes to money. You tell people that they ain't going to be able to go to the Macy's and to go to J.C. Penney, they ain't going to be, oh, yeah. You can see where people are when you start talking about money. But my take here, people, we better be about our Father's business and asking God to give us strength just in case. See, a lot of people thinking that we are not going to have to worry about it because we're going to be raptured out of here before all internet take place. That's well and good. Thank God that we do. But what if you don't? What if you do have to go through that period? Will you be able to stand? Will you be willing to die for what you believe in? That's a good question. And I'm going to answer it for you right now. 
If you are not willing to die right now for what you believe in, you sure ain't going to do it when you get into that. Amen. Now, people, you just take it for what it's worth. This is Old Middle Man. Until the next Bible study, next video, whichever come first, peace. Have a good day. Remember, if God ain't in it, get out of it because it's going to come to nothing. This is Middle Man saying peace. Good night.